this is the last class in the series of operators and the last operator i want to teach you about right here is called conditional operators so if you're really stoked like i am to know how this function then let's go to the video what is uh conditional uh, operators and how they work I'm not talking about a conditional statement here. I'm talking about the conditional operators. Just think about it like an, a short if else statement. For example, I have this function called the perform condition. Conditional. Okay, and it takes two numbers, which is an integer, you know, say num one, and another integer, let's call it num two. All right, and this is public so that we can see it and returns truths at completion. No, true. Return a Boolean value. Of course, it is pure function because it's not dealing with outside values other than the ones coming from the uh, coming from the parameters. So now, what you want to do is. Uh, I want to say this integer is going to what hold our result, and you want to make a an if else condition here. So let's say, is this number one? Is it greater than number two? You use number two. Come on, two man, two. Come on, and then you use this this particular question mark. This is used to, you know make that short if else statement and then the the next the next statement here will be the first uh res the first um situation that happened so take note this is the condition you're testing for this should be the result if this condition is true or should be stored as the result the result should be you know this number one okay number one minus number two else else this is how you declare else else it should be this number two you know right? add from this number one so with this you can now return to what uh that would be the result and we want to view this result all right so let's say it returns returns this result here but now you want to change this from want to make sure that this is view sorry view. and you want to make sure that this is what an integer that you're returning so that you'll be able to view it on and uh, as a result so you compile control c so having two errors here one is known no. oh want to specify this as number one and that's number two so let's compile that and have a warning here saying you know this can be restricted to pure so you can use pure or use view but they use pure because the compiler says so <laughs> so save control save fantastic now let's deploy this this is the smart control click on this deploy here and then click down so you want to add number one is five and then ten okay let's see with so it will you know what okay it will let we call it make this call right now this will be the result so it goes ahead and changes it from 12 minus what five so that and then it turns what seven and start normally five minus 12 should return minus seven but it's now returning positive seven so if we go back and let's just say we switch this to what switch this to five and we still call it it returns exactly the same thing to us because it will always return the positive result so this is how for example this is how you can use in a short if else statement just note that an if else statement performs this specific logic perform if condition okay you know you what you know implement these else you know 
short implement and this uh, so basically this is this this little piece of code here is exactly what this is so this is like an operator for that so that is that is what you should know about you know the conditional operators hope you got some new you know values from this teaching today and i would like to see you in the next one so smash that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next class bye